Okay, so here it is. You can see it's a nice strong drain. It's got a warning label there. And this this can pop off and you can do it like that. You can put your pipe in there, which is pretty close to a an actual uh four inch. I think it goes um on the inside, but I have to grab a piece to be sure. I'm gonna check that. And also you can close up one side with this. See? Came with a piece like that and it came with directions. That was one of the last ones they had too. You just put some caulking on there and now it's sealed. So you could do a one-way box like that and do a six-inch port like that. Or you could do that, do it the easy way, or you could just go like that and uh yeah, have this on one side. Like for your French drains, that's what I'm thinking of doing. And then on another side, you could actually drill your own hole, put a four inch uh, grommet in there, pick whatever height, height you want, you see? And then you could take a, a two inch that way. And this is actually gonna be further downstream, so that shouldn't really be there, but I'm just il illustrating how it works. This is gonna go up to a pipe and then a channel drain that goes across. So it's gonna reuse the channel drain if I can. That's a two inch. And also we'll get one that's a one and a half inch so the pump discharge will actually flush. See how it's curved? It actually is curved like that. So when it go, when water comes out, it's like flushing the toilet. So any any debris that gets blocked in there will just get whoosh, flushed right out of there. As soon as that pump turns on, it's going to be like whoosh, shooting that water through. Now, yeah, I got grommets and a five-inch drill bit, five-inch hole saw. So I'm going to put a, my own sized piece there and ignore these little things. The other one that they had had cutouts but I didn't want the cutouts I wanted just the plastic so I'm gonna pick where I'm gonna put my holes and just stick the grommet in there and then the straight straight pipe is gonna go in there wherever it's at probably down low no probably down probably high up because I'm getting the slope out to the front right it's gonna go down and then uh, I'm gonna start again with maybe this one going out to the side maybe put an elbow over here with a three inch I'm not sure and, and cut either a three inch or a four inch here and then at a lower height right that way instead of going being stuck at the middle point I'm gonna drill my own hole and uh, that way I could slope down from here when it gets filled up this is gonna be in the bottom of the bottom of the lawn right the bottom of the yard where the low point is of the water so that uh, the soil and grass won't grow in here or fill it up with roots because the soil is gonna be right up there and then uh, it's going to be coming out here, and then the water will flow downhill into that uh, into that uh, foundation, and then out in the front of the yard. So it's going to literally be very tight, like three inches total from there. Then I'm going to take and see that's going to be out on the top, and then it's going to be feeding back in on the bottom for the French drains, where I'm going to use that uh, fall all over again so yeah the french drains will fill in on the bottom and yeah the maintenance will involve you know just making sure to clean the stuff out because otherwise it'll start to clog and back up in the french drains but i'm not talking about anything drastic there'll still be some space on the bottom it just won't be this high you know it might be uh, a little bit lower you see what i'm saying maybe it'll be a little bit lower than that or maybe i'll even just use that i don't know that might be low enough but i'm going to come up a lot tighter higher up uh, you know for probably two to three inches from the soil because it's going to be close But yeah, that's it. This thing's a pretty big beast It's no joke and yeah, you could even put a put a knockout here on the bottom and do it that way if you wanted to But I'm just gonna put six inches of gravel under there Yeah, you see you could literally do anything you want with the, with these things. Yeah, this is I have a whole design that I'm gonna do I gotta make blueprints and then there's all these Yeah, all these all these different things Reducers, expand, expanders, increasers, and see a little uh, 1.5 inch there. That's 1.5. Obviously, this is two, so that's why it's not fitting. It's 1.5 and two. So yeah, I got a couple of these flex fittings and expanders and reducers, and this is to get a specific angle that I may or may not still do. It's 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 pretty complex, but anyway, that's the whole deal.